Disclaimer This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Hello and welcome to the sequel on sepia remedy. In part 1, we have discussed some particulars and personality of healthy sepia. For revisiting part 1 you can click on the tag appearing here. In this video we will start our discussion on sepia part 2. We ended part 1 by discussing that, when the independence of sepia lady is surrendered, the result is diseased sepia. So in mental part 2, we will look at the symptoms of diseased sepia. When sepia is crossed, particularly by men, sepia can get very angry, and this anger becomes chronic, when she has been put down often enough, resulting in a permanent state of bitterness. Sepia girls are at a disadvantage from the start, let's see an example. Why are you not studying? I feel like dancing. Why don't you obey your elders? Since they're independent, meditative nature is often missed by the family, or it is seen as unhealthy in girls, and is deliberately opposed. Such sepia girls, will then oppose their attitude intensely. Sepia adolescents, are renowned for the anger, which can be fierce, and explosive. Sepia adolescents become irritable, when they are not understood, and not allowed to be their independent, subtle-minded selves. She will resist to the parental pressure for a long time, with outbursts of temper, and floods of tears. She wonders, who she is, what is right, and why she is so sensitive, and irritable, much of the time. From this point, she becomes oversensitive, to criticism, and opposition of any kind, particularly when it comes from man. That's why, it is said that, there is anger from contradiction, offended easily. The tension, that results from this battle, between sepia's independent, sensitive nature, and society's insensitive attempts, to mold her, often reaches such intensity, that she wants to scream, or to smash crockery. Feels, as though she must shriek. And, when she does so, it helped to restore her sanity. When constantly pressured, on denial of independence, she becomes aggressive, and may behave something like this. He looks like a good man. I don't think so. All are same. Ultimately, she may come to hate men, that is, aversion to member of opposite sex. When Sepia is upset, she is likely to be tearful, as angry, and, her tears, flow very easily, in most cases. Once Sepia woman, has compromised her true nature, for long enough, she begins to lose her spirit. She experiences, a gradual deadening, of her appetite for life. She starts to live life, more and more like a robot, going through the motions of her usual activities, with no enthusiasm, or motivation inside her. She feels sluggish, both mentally and physically, that is there is, dullness and sluggishness in her behavior. And her emotions are also blended, producing a kind of indifference to everything. Indifference to loved ones and to pleasure. As this condition progresses, the sepia woman feels, more, and more, drained of energy, and finds it harder and harder, to face the day's chores, that is there is, aversion to business. She may also have, no patience, to deal with her children, and finds herself, shouting on them, for slightest things, that is, there is, disposition to scold. In bed, she has no desire to make love, and often shrinks from her husband's touch, that is, there is absence of sexual desire. Her mind slows down, and she makes mistakes, with simplest of tasks. She becomes, dull, and absent-minded. There is prostration of mind, and forgetfulness. She becomes, prone to weeping, and she weeps, whenever, she tells another person, how she is feeling, that is, there is, weeping while telling symptoms. Her inability, to cope, starts to make her, more and more anxious, and fearful. 
fears that, something terrible might happen, fear of ghost, of insanity, of poverty, of meeting people, of being left alone. We hope you are enjoying this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We would love to hear from you. Please share your feedback in the comments section of this video. Let us know which remedy would you like us to develop next. Let's now discuss, the particular symptoms part 2. The urinary complaints includes. Red, adhesive, sand in urine. Involuntary urination during first sleep. Urine so offensive, that it must be removed, from the room at once. Chronic cystitis, slow micturation, with bearing down sensation while passing urine. Let's now look at the symptoms of male reproductive system. Organs cold. Offensive perspiration. Gleat, discharge from urethra only during night, no pain. Condylar mater, surround head of penis. Complaints from coition. Let's now discuss about, the symptoms of female reproductive system. Bearing down sensation, as if everything would escape through vulva, must cross limbs to prevent protrusion, or press against vulva. Prolapse of uterus and vagina. Vagina painful, especially on coition. Morning sickness. Menses too late and scanty, irregular, early and profuse. Sharp clutching pains. Violent stitches upward in vagina, from uterus to umbilicus. Leucorrhea yellow, greenish, with much itching, acrid before menses. Please watch this video till the end. We have some differentiating points between sepia, natrum and phosphorus coming up. In case of respiratory complaints. Dry, <coughs> fatiguing cough, apparently coming from stomach. <coughs> Rotten egg taste with coughing. <coughs> Oppression of chest morning and evening. <coughs> Dyspnea. Worse after sleep, better rapid motion, or dancing. Cough in morning, with profuse expectoration, tasting salty. Hypostatic pleuritis. Whooping cough that drags on. Cough excited by tickling in larynx or chest. In heart complaints we get. Violent, intermittent palpitation. Beating in all arteries. Tremulous feeling with flushes. In back region there is. Weakness in small of back. Pain extends into back. Coldness between shoulders. Let us now look at the extremities. Twitching and jerkings, night and day. Heaviness and bruised feeling. Coldness of legs and feet. Lower extremities lame and stiff, tension as if too short. Restlessness in all limbs. Pain in heel. In case of skin complaints there are. Herpetic eruptions on lips, about mouth and nose. Ringworm-like eruption every spring. Herpes circinatus in isolated spots. Itchings, not relieved by scratching, worse in bends of elbows and knees. Urticaria warm going in open air, better in warm room. Chloasma. Lentigo in young women. Ecthiosis with offensive odor of skin. Sweat on feet, worse on toes, intolerable odor. Hyperidiosis and bromidrosis. In case of fever complaints there is. Sugaring with thirst, worse, towards evening. Frequent flushes of heat, sweat from least motion. General lack of warmth of body. Feet cold and wet. Quiz time now. Answers to quiz will follow shortly. Now, we will discuss the next part of this remedy, that is, its modalities and relations. The complaints are aggravated in forenoon and evening. By washing and laundry work. Dampness. Left side. After sweat. Cold air. Before thunderstorm. And the amelioration is from exercise. 
pressure, warmth of bed, hot application, drawing limbs up, cold bathing, after sleep. In case of relations, it is complementary to natrium muaticum and phosphorus, and is inimical to lachesis and pulsatilla. Answers to the quiz. Now, comes the last part of this remedy, that is, the difference between sepia, natrium muaticum, and phosphorus. Firstly, we will see the difference between sepia and natrium in healthy state. Sepia is a naturally independent woman. Whereas, natrium seeks independence, as a reaction against the hurt, they have received. Sepia women, usually do not compete with men. Whereas natrium women do compete with men. Let's now see the difference between sepia, natrium and phosphorus in healthy state. All the three personalities have intuitions, but sepia is naturally intuitive. Deep, impersonal intuition, based on her skills, keeps quite about her intuitive faculties. Natrium's intuitions are also deep, but are based on her personal biases and for making herself special. Intuition are liable to mix with her personal fear and wishful thinking. Whereas, though, phosphorus is naturally intuitive, but she tends to get carried away by flights of fancy. Let's now see the difference between sepia and natrum in a diseased state of mind. Sepia adolescents resist parental pressure. Whereas, natrum adolescents buckle under parental pressure to be normal obedient and dependent. In sepia, there are free-flowing tears. While, in case of natrium, tears are clearly suppressed. Sepia woman is, less liable to become bitter, because she suppresses her anger less. Whereas, natrium woman is, more liable to bitterness, as a result of suppressed anger. Sepia feminists, tend to concentrate on, clarifying the wider issues of gender politics. And, natrium feminists, have more intent of, revenge and hatred. Moving forward to difference between sepia and phosphorus in diseased state of mind. Sepia lady is scatty, but relatively more focused mentally, most of the times. Whereas, phosphorus lady, becomes scatty, quite often, but, is a dreamer. Sepia lady becomes, very upset, by suffering of others, but, not overwhelmed, or affected, for long. While, phosphorus lady, becomes so empathetic, that she totally loses herself, in other person. If you have found value in this innovative presentation to Materia Medica, please don't forget to like and share this video. Based on your suggestions, we have taken up sepal cornitum, as the subject of our next video. See you then. Thanks for watching.